All right, so here we are, um, neighborhood visit number three. Uh, so here's the neighborhood you're going to visit. Take a look at it, uh, examine the picture, see which things you noticed, um, compare it to some of the other neighborhoods we visited, and we'll move on from there. Uh, but the first thing you got to do is read through section five in the book. There's information on the back side of your sheet. Um, just read the section that's have not struggled to survive. Uh, and there you'll learn about the living condition of Mexico City's poor. Um, complete your part one and you should be good to go on to part two. So here we go for part two. Um, you're going to get out of your taxi and we're going to listen to this interview. This is where you're going to fill in uh, part two of your worksheet and listen carefully to this and gather some information so we can figure out what neighborhood we're in. She's around back. Let's go. Hola. Bienvenidos todos. Bienvenidos a mi casa. She says, welcome to my home. Miguel, Mateo, Mario y Jorge. Y el de atrás, pues quien sabe. No, mentira. These are her children, Solo except for the one in the cap. He lives next door. They are Miguel, Mateo, Mario, and Jorge. And her daughter, the girl we saw in the front. Her name is Maria, too. Today is laundry day. Be careful. She may put you to work. Maria desea que no nos ponga a trabajar. No, no. Ustedes son mis invitados. Por favor. Thank you for taking a moment out of your day. Gracias, señora González, por su tiempo. Tenemos unas preguntas. ¿Nos puede decir de su casa? Jose is asking her to describe her house. No como las demás casas de papel que están viendo. Este bloque es de cemento. The house is made of these cement or cinder blocks and has a roof made of corrugated tin. 78% of her neighbors have similar housing. There is no insulation, so it gets as hot or as cold as it does outside, and it's loud when it rains. She does have indoor plumbing, as do more than 75% of her neighbors, but only cold water. She knows she has it better than others. At least these houses are built with good materials. They do not fall down. ¿Hay espacios verdes cerca, como un parque? Maria asks about green space. No is there any cerca, nearby? Según entiendo, las zonas verdes she says there are no parks y nearby, y but that in this neighborhood, the green space is equal to about 22 square feet per person, and she says she wishes she lived on her share of it. Thank you for talking with us, señora. Gracias, señora, por platicar con nosotros. Me da gusto conocerlos. Miguel, Mateo, Mario, Maria, Jorge. All right, so by now we should know what we have to do next. Um, use the information you got from the interview. Double check it with the people sitting around you. Make sure you've got your stuff. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our taxi. But I want you to take a look here at the sheets. Remember, use these sheets. Use the evidence to try to figure out or at least narrow it down to a couple of neighborhoods um, that you think it is. All right. So once you've done that, write it down and make sure you're writing down the reason why and use your evidence to support your answer on why you think it was that particular neighborhood that we visited. So um, you should be good to go and then you can move on to the last neighborhood visit for neighborhood four. All right. See you guys.